A real mark at Axical, a court, is a long-standing and honest player. He has firmly established a reputation as a serious car that can compete on equal terms with the Germans. However, the ninth generation sedan was met with some disappointment. Let's try to figure out, how justified was this approach? How do they say? Before, the grass was greener and the water was wetter. The word Accord for many years has been firmly associated with Japanese reliability and a high level of comfort, which is very organically combined with sports tax. But the car of the ninth generation instilled fears. It has become global, having lost its, sometimes attractive, multi-market features. Sharpening was made for the US market, where the car was produced. Accord indecently resounded in size, climbing almost into the E-Class, where he risked losing his past sports talents. Risked, but did not lose. However, let's go in order. Choosing the ninth Accord of the first years of production is relatively simple. The risk zone does not actually exist. Two naturally aspirated petrol engines, a 2.4-liter 4, 180 horsepower, and a 3.5-liter 282 horsepower V6. The smaller one was offered with a 6-speed mechanics and a 5-speed automatic with perfectly matched gear ratios and sport mode, and the larger one with a 6-speed automatic transmission. The dynamics turned out to be quite decent even on the younger engine, which skillfully demonstrates typical Honda openings after 5,000 to 6,000 revolutions per minute. True, there are comments to him, the camshaft is playing pranks on the outlet. If, when the engine is running, you hear the sound of rattling valves, then with a favorable outcome, the adjustment of the thermal clearance of the valve shines, but in the worst case, you cannot avoid replacing the camshaft. If there are no sounds, everything is in open work. They were watching the car. By the way, both motors have their supporters. Some press on the economy of the four. On the highway, consumption is 7 liters per 100 kilometers. Their opponents believe that the V6 runs more smoothly, without tantrums. It has less detonation. In any case, you need to remember that it is easier to taxi with a lighter limber, 2.4 liters. But the V6 version has a stiffer suspension. Frank punctures and automatic transmissions cannot be found. Their resource is quite worthy, if the previous owner, of course, did not abuse fun starts from a traffic light. When buying a car, it is worth checking the automatic transmission cover bearings. Their wear is detected by switching the selector modes and at the same time controlling the sound coming from under the left wheel arch. A characteristic howl indicates the need to replace the bearings. It is not very expensive, but it can play a positive role in bargaining. It will not be superfluous to check the integrity of the power steering high pressure hose. It would seem, a trifle. But the hose is expensive, and it will take a long time to wait for it at dealers. And in general, problems with steering are not uncommon. For example, leaks and knocking of the steering rack. It's easy to identify them. If the steering column entry socket into the rack is dirty, most likely the rack is leaking. Knocking is even easier. He shook the wheel, if shocks are felt, then a complete replacement of the assembly will soon be required. By and large, today, in 2017, it is almost impossible to present anything serious to a court in terms of technology. The same, in principle, applies to the body. However, at service stations, masters like to shrug, they say, now all cars have a thin and fragile paintwork. Even Japanese ones. And it's easy to find complaints about this problem on the forums. The car has not yet passed 50,000 kilometers, but it is already blooming around the chips on the hood. Apparently, the problem is still there. Otherwise, when buying a car, it makes sense to look for only traces of poor quality body repairs. After a small update, a 2-liter gasoline 4 with intake phase shifters and a mechanism for adjusting the lift and duration of the VTEC valves, 150 horsepower and 190 newton meters, settled under the hood of the Accord. At the same time, 8 horsepower was added to the 2.4-liter unit. Power became 188, and all gearboxes were replaced with a variator that simulates the operation of a 7-speed automatic. Approaching critically to the features of the cabin, we can name several possible problems here. First, the hatch opened at an angle creaks. Many try to solve the problem on their own by gluing seals or pulling the assembly fasteners. There are complaints about low-quality music. There are a lot of complaints about it on the forums, although they usually do not reach dealers. But what the repairman confirm is problems with the upholstery of the front seats. They apply only to leather interiors, everything is in order on fabric chairs. If you lift the headrest, on many cars you can see that the leather upholstery sticks out from under the plastic plugs of the holes for the headrest guides. The Japanese slightly regretted the leather on the seats. In a word, you already understood that the 9th Accord is an excellent candidate for buying on the secondary market. The price of the car, 
as well as the cost of servicing it at dealers, you probably will not like. However, the car itself will eventually turn out to be one of the most beloved in the family fleet. On the 9th Accord, McPherson struts appeared in front instead of the traditional sports 2 lever. This did not affect the handling, the car still obeys and is controlled perfectly, and the suspension travels have become noticeably larger. There is no negative on the resource of parts yet. Everything is fine. On versions 2.4, many note a strong, but not prolonged vibration of the automatic transmission handle when switching to D mode or when braking. The criticality of the problem, as well as its real causes, is still being investigated. No adverse effects of such vibration have yet been identified. Possible cracking of the timing gear VTC on the intake shaft on models with a 2.4 liter engine. They say the problem lies in the coking of the IV tech variable valve timing system. In order to avoid more serious problems, it is better to start repairing the assembly. Be prepared that the consumption of brake pads and possibly brake discs, especially on versions with V6, will be increased. The brakes are effective, but the weight of the sedan is apparently too much for them. In the service, this problem is attributed with a smile to the nature of the car. It provokes to drive, hence the wear of the brakes. If native acoustics are installed in the car, this is a reason to replace it with something more decent. There are no bottoms at all. Besides, rattling is heard from different sides. The electrical system is generally reliable. There are isolated complaints about sweating headlights. 